Taylor Swift sends Diane Warren thank you flowers for, say don't go. It was a dream come true to write with you, said Swift in her thank you note. Nine years after it was written, Say Don't Go, the power ballad from Taylor Swift and Diane Warren, is finally out in the world, and Warren isn't the only one excited about the song exiting the vault. In an Instagram post from Sunday, Warren reveals that the Karma singer sent her a bouquet of flowers as thank you for their collaboration. Just got this from at Taylor Swift, Warren wrote. And this mini, this aw, oh, this dear... Making up songs about how much I... If you want to know why she is the biggest artist on the planet, this kind of kind gesture is one more reason why. In her note, Swift sends Warren a big hug, telling her, It was a dream come true to write with you. I hope you love, say don't go, as much as I do. Warren recently told Rolling Stone she was initially surprised when the song the two wrote at the end of 2013 didn't make the tracklist for 1989, adding that when it finally came out, it was worth the wait. Everything has its time, you know. It took a while to see the light of day, but I'm glad it finally did, Warren said in the interview. She also recalled being impressed with how specific Swift was with her lyricism and how considerate she was about how her fans might receive it. She was very particular about how she said certain things. It was a really interesting experience. She gets her audience, said Warren. She's deeply aware of how her fans want to hear something. I can't explain it, but that's probably why she's the biggest fucking star in the world. After the experience, Warren says she'd be open to working with Swift again. The one we did is pretty good, so if she's down, I'd be down. Did you not say no? That would be awesome. On Saturday, Spotify shared that 1989, Taylor's version, which dropped on Friday, has become the service's most single-day streamed album of the year so far, and Swift is the most streamed artist in a single day as well with the LP's arrival. With this, Swift broke her own record as the most streamed artist in its first 24 hours of release with her 10th studio album, Midnights, in October 2022. Thus, we present this content, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, if this video is interesting for viewers. We thank you for your support. They could frame you. Just me up, take it, just That's always with us. 20 million.